Hello, I'm Rob, and thank you very much for checking out R&B Reviews, where we try to give informative and introspective reviews of movies in theaters and on DVD. Uh, right now, I'm about ready to go. I finally got a day off where I can go see the movie Interstellar, which is from director Christopher Nolan. And I'm already outside the movie theater now, so I am not driving while I'm talking to you. Um, before I uh, do my review of the movie, I'll go ahead and... Uh, share my um, what I know about the movie. I know that it's um, directed by Christopher Nolan. There is a screening in IMAX, but I am going to go see it on the regular screen because it is a little cheaper. Um, there's been quite a lot of buzz about this movie. What I know about it is is that it's a sci-fi movie. It's set in the future where the Earth is in, you know, um, you know, in pretty poor shape, and, I, and it looks like they're going out into space to see if they can find another planet to move Earth to. I don't know if that's the story or not. Um, something else that... Um, I want to share is I other than that other than the trailers I really don't know else about this movie I haven't really read any or watched any reviews from youtubers or professional critics because I don't want to go in there knowing what's what to think and everything I want to enter with a clear slate I know um, Anne Hathaway's in this movie I think and another thing that I know is that I saw a trailer where they talked to some of the crew members um, in the movie theater um, I saw this trailer where the special effects um, People said that they didn't use any CGI. Everything was, you know, like for example, when the sh I guess when the ship is, you know, shaking or what have you, they built stuff into the set to create to recreate that. So that's pretty um, interesting. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in now. I'm gonna put the camera down and then I'll share my uh, opinion, my review of the movie um, ju in just a bit. just returned from seeing Interstellar, the science fiction film from director Christopher Nolan. It's set on a drought-filled Earth sometime in the future, and it stars Matthew McConaughey as Cooper, a former engineer who, along with a group of explorers, travel out into space to try and find a planet that can sustain life. One of the crew members is played by Anne Hathaway, and the rest of the cast includes Michael Caine as a scientist who is behind the space expedition to save mankind, and John Lithgow as Cooper's father-in-law. Now, Interstellar, I thought, was both an ambitious uh, movie, and I think it definitely brings a lot of interesting ideas. In addition to ideas about you know, our solar system and quantum theory and worm and black holes, the film does touch us up on human emotions that I think audiences would be able to digest much better, including you know, changing history to suit my mankind at a particular point, changing climates, and choosing you know, between family and saving mankind. Interstellar is shot in Nolan's usual realistic style to give an audience a feel that they're present during the movie, and it seems like a lot of location, real locations were used, and this made me feel like, for example, I was on Cooper's farm, or that when they were out in the in space in their ship, I felt like I was in a claustrophobic environment. And when I look at a lot of the actors, I don't know if very little makeup was used, but oftentimes I could see the real wrinkles on their face and, and all that, so it definitely put me in a position where I felt like I was along for the journey. Um, supposedly, Nolan used little, if any, CGI, and most of the special effects were supposedly done on set. If that's true, when I was watching Interstellar, it kind of reminded me of a lot of science fiction films that were done in the 60s and 70s, as well as some documentary footage that was done in space. Um, I think this movie, in a way, added to the realism, because sometimes with movies that have CGI, um, it can give a sometimes cartoonish-like uh, quality to it. Um, Performance-wise, I think the cast really delivered. McCa uh, McConaughey I really disappeared into his character that sometimes when I was watching the movie, I forgot I was watching an actor. I felt like I was watching the real, you know, person. Um, Hathaway is an actor I usually don't go crazy over because in the past I've kind of found her to be kind of sugary sweet and very upbeat, 
to the point where it can be grating. But here, I think she gives one of her strongest performances, probably since May, uh, Les Miserables, um, where her character is faced with a lot of difficult decisions. And the look of this movie is just stunning to watch. I think some few viewers, when they're watching this movie, will probably recall, you know, other movies like, you know, 2001 A Space Odyssey. While I enjoyed Interstellar, I don't think this is my favorite film from Christopher Nolan, and I don't know if this movie will go very well with a mass audience. This movie does describe, uh, discuss different types of science, which I think might be hard for some people to follow. I'll admit I'm not the, you know, you know, the science personally, I don't really know it very well, and I'm, if you presented these theories to me, it would be hard for me to follow. Um, also, the running time is 169 minutes, which might require patience for some viewers at times. And for me, there were moments where I had a, I don't know if it was just me, but I had a, sometimes I had a hard time understanding some of the actors' lines, either due to the muttering or sometimes the music was overtaking a scene. But still, I admire Nolan for trying to make Interstellar. He, he tries to use uh, practical effects. He, I think he has a great cast here, and he tries to make it cons at least some of it consumable to moviegoers. Again, the first half of the movie on Earth, you know, there's a lot of stuff that I think more people will be able to relate to that than later on in the film. I think it's uh, Interstellar is a very good big screen experience, it, so I'm gonna recommend it as a see it in theaters rating. Um, but I think this movie is going to either, um, because of the real si uh, real science, I think it might lose um, audience members. And I think it's also a movie that you may have to go back and watch uh, multiple times, kind of like, you know, 2001 A Space Odyssey. But still, I'm going to recommend Interstellar. I, like I said, I don't know if I would call this my favorite movie from Christopher Nolan, but I do give him credit for trying to do something ambitious like this. So, yeah. All right. Well, anyway, I'm going to open the floor to you. Uh, tell me what you thought of Interstellar, and if you have any feedback, uh, go ahead and post your comments on the movie. Um, and also, if you're interested, come visit the main page and look at some other reviews of movies that are in theaters or out on DVD or streaming. Thank you very much for watching.